Okay. Thank you. All right. Our first question in the Q&A is from uh, Peter, I believe he's, believe he's from uh, Poland. So he says, hello, Mr. Kesh, I've recently made some aluminum GANs and aluminum amino acid. Is my deduction correct that if we could use fields of aluminum amino acid on a person to help them if they're suffering from aluminum poisoning? From what I've learned to this point, I'm deducing that fields of aluminum amino acid would interlock with fields of cells of poisoned person and aluminum GANS content in these uh, amino acid would interlock its fields with fields of aluminum in the body and balance it. So now the aluminum in the body would have its fields detached from the cells and the body would have an easier time removing it. Is this deduction close to what would happen? Theoretically, you're correct. Reality, you never touch aluminum at all. Aluminum, lead, and uh, couple of other materials should never be used by knowledge seekers. Should, you should never produce the guns of it. Doesn't matter even if you produce it and keep it somewhere. These materials have affinity to attach to, due to construction of the field plasma interaction presence of magnesium and uh, presence of conversion of the fields due to presence of the different field strength to solidification or manifestation of this matter in the brain. We have the same problem with mercury. So, theoretically, you're correct. Physically, I advise you, uh, with the knowledge we have, never ever make ganses of aluminium, mercury, or that, and a couple of others. Because, it is field strength, is on a field strength of the part of the emotion of the man. You think you're removing, but you can add more misery into the whole work. You never in a physical human body on this planet, should make these three ganses. If you made them, put them in a container of themselves and bury it deep in the ground. And if you can, build a concrete cocoon for it that it stays there for a long, long, long time. That it doesn't even seep out to harm other creatures of this planet, inside the planet. So, my advice to you is, don't even think about it. Next question. So I guess his next question, you would probably say no, as far as other uses would aluminum GANs uh, have in respect to plasma devices, like the Magrav power unit, plasma capacitors, no. or plasma batteries? Do not use, do not use. It's, it's just, it's field strength. Mm -hmm. It's field strength is very close to some of the field strength of the amino acid of the brain and emotion. Aluminium poisoning or extra aluminium fields 
uh, can create dementia, uh, internal bleeding, uh, blindness, loss of orientation. We know this, especially from Eastern Bloc. In Eastern Bloc, in prior to 19, oh, 1990s, uh, they use aluminium maize poisoning for rats and uh, for uh, disinfecting silos with rice and grain and flour and all the workers who use spray this have ended up with massive problems. They had a special teams disinfecting. And all the workers in these teams have shown long-term huge problems. So, don't even go near any shape or form with these things. Uh, one of the most horrendous ones are mercury in uh, what do you call it? That they have a strength of the strength of the emotion, and. Uh, we seen in the reports of Senate um, when uh, uh, interaction, which was hidden from the what they call public, and then when they push a member of the Senate in uh, years ago, the vaccination companies had to confess that they use mercury in the three MMR injections for children, which brought a lot of problems for children. This is, is reporting to the White House reports and, and the Senate following this over the years. And now they say they produce it with no mercury, but still this uh, the combination of chemicals is the same effect to hold the two or three together. This is a discussion now with a lot of world of scientists that uh, the three MMR uh, not to be done in the first year, two years to children, but delay to the puberty. And a lot of uh, um, doctors are supporting this, even their own children. They don't give them MMR in the first cycle of what they are pushing now. Because uh, a lot of papers connected to a lot of other problems. And they moved it, a lot of doctors moved the parents to do the injection of the MMR after age of 12, 14. But uh, what I was in a meeting recently and I explained to them, is you inject this now at a point of the change in the life, puberty, the new cycle. Do we know what is the effect on that cycle? Just because we delay it. Would we see more aggressive children? Would we see more other things with the children at the point when it's vulnerable and changes are taking place? And it all had to do originally with um, mercury, which in the brain, when it injected, it became a cancer of it. And it touched the emotion, but it permanently changes the, what do you call, the brain operation. And the more doctors I talk to over years, nobody understands why they put these three together. They were happy with individual injections. It's just pharmaceuticals make a lot of money out of it. And very large percent of people, families pay for it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> 